Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> What is going on ladies and gentlemen? We are on a different set today. I'm here with my girlfriend. We got, this is Tammy by the way. You'll probably be seeing her a lot lately. Sweet. And uh, of course we got Sammy here. What's and good for you? the first of Summer of Guests has arrived. What's up Fosto Pebbles? What's up guys? Okay. Thank you for being the first of Summer of Guests. Of course. Kicking off Summer of Guests oh, okay, right. <laughs> um, today we are uh, filming at my mom's house because... <laughs> Your mom goes to college? Yeah. No, because uh, quite honestly, uh, my studio is is packed with stuff right now. It's under construction. Under construction. That, that's a good way. <laughs> uh, so you're gonna hear probably the AC on and the fan because it's hot, and I am not turning them off. So you're gonna have to deal with that audio. You might hear cars go by. <laughs> on top of that, there's a highway right here, so you're gonna hear the freaking cars passing by. So Sirens, just, police, fire. Yeah, you, know, you, you live in, a, in an area like ours. You just you just kind of get used to it. You know, it's just it's it's part of life. It's white noise. white noise. And if you see us get down, it's just a gunshot are passing. But it's nothing. It's, it's just, nothing a, it's just a normal Sunday. It's Sunday. Normal hey, Sunday. hey, bro. Because hey, we didn't hit the manoodle this morning. The manoodle, <laughs> that's it. But uh, yeah, today we're going to be talking a little bit, we'll cut a couple uh, bits of news for you. And then we're just going to dissect Fossa right oh, here on camera. Crap. Damn. <laughs> dissect them like a ninth grade biology class? Yeah, or what? dude. So it's, it's going to be. I'll have 911 ready on the phone. 911 is there, man. They're ready to go. So today. Uh, we're gonna start off with um, some news uh, today, or actually this week. Sigourney Weaver came out and said she's gonna be part of the Ghostbusters. She was a secretary, right? She was, and then remember she got possessed by one of those. She was like the, the gatekeeper or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I haven't watched Ghostbusters. Either. Whew! So yeah, the uh, original crew are coming back. Besides the the one that died. Oh, what of them died? Yeah, the guy with the glasses. I didn't know that. Yeah, he passed away. Oh, like in real life. Though, in real right? life. Okay, I was like, in the film someone died? I'm like, what? <laughs> but, uh, Scooby Reaver didn't come out and say she's coming back. I'm excited for that. What's your thoughts? Oh, man. More power to her. Yeah. More power to her? Yeah. I don't even, what other movies is she even in? I don't even, I can't even picture it. She's an avatar. Ripley. Alien. Yeah. Biggest movie right there for her. Yeah, guess who hasn't watched Alien? Yeah, figured. See, I haven't watched this, but I know. I was like, that name sounds I'm the only familiar. one that's seen Alien? Really? I guess so. I guess so. Oh, wow. I've seen Alien vs. Predator, which I know is oh, yeah, not yeah. the good representation. It's okay, but I'm not, <laughs> Ripley's not in that. But um, yeah, Ripley, uh, she was, of course, the main character of Alien. She was a badass. Um, she pretty much. The one in the mech suit, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, Ripley. But uh, Sigourney Reaver, she was also in the, the the Defenders. She was the villain for like the first half of the season. Yeah. Oh. Okay. okay no. Yeah. That, that's <laughs> didn't watch that one either. They didn't watch that one either, huh? That, uh, I guess I'm uncultured swine today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, I, I'm kind of excited for Sigourney Weaver to come back because uh, her role in the first movie, she was, I think she started out as the secretary and then she ended up being by, possessed by one of the ghosts and yeah. she became the gatekeeper. And of course, if you watch. Oh, was she one of the guys' wives? That too. I don't, know. I don't um, remember. It's been a while since I've seen those posters. I gotta rewatch them. But it's well, gonna be. I know who to call. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's gonna be a direct sequel to the uh, Ghostbusters 2. Because um, I know a lot of people, for some reason, didn't like the Ghostbusters reboot that he did. With the women? With the women? Uh -huh. I thought it was like, really feminist. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Was, it. it was good. It yeah, was funny. But... Chris Hemsworth saved the whole movie, honestly. Yes. He was great in that movie. I know. I liked it. I liked it. It was pretty good. I, but, I you know, it. some men got their panties in a bunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My brother. Your brother? <laughs> yeah. He's like, <laughs> the women are our... taking over. The women are taking our jabs. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be interesting to see where this movie, this movie starts shooting, I think, uh, at the end of this year, because they're aiming for a 2020 summer release. Ooh. So, it should be starting to shoot pretty soon. Dave, we got a 2020 vision, huh? Yeah. It's coming. Um, what are we talking about next? I already forgot. <laughs> I don't know. 
Oh, it's uh, destroy all destroy humans. destroy all humans. Anybody ever play that game? Yes, I am so excited for that one. So, if you with guys, that Ramstein intro, like, if you guys so, don't, you don't know, destroy all humans is a video game that came out like in the early 2000s? 2004, 2005, somewhere around there. It was uh, on the PS2. At least that's what I had it for. Same here. So uh, it was on the PS2. I know that, and they so they came out with the trailer the other day. I think it's its anniversary or something like that, and they're going to be remastering it for next-gen console, new-gen, current-gen consoles. Yeah, I never played that game. The only thing I remember about that game is being a young adolescent watching uh, Friday Night Smackdown, and like every week they would show that uh, game commercial. <laughs> it's the only thing I know. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with that game. That's Same here. It was like just killing all the people. Eventually it doesn't have like that much of a replay value, but it, there's so much nostalgia from that game. Yeah. That I just love, like, electrocuting people, possessing people, getting flying up, the spaceship. Yeah, like, like, getting the cows and stuff yeah, like, like destroying, just, uh, Leveling a whole town, that game, like, one of the first games, I think, that you were able to do such a thing. Yeah, it was just the, it was just the, whole, the whole fun part about being an alien, just killing humans. It was kind of like Mars Attacks, but, like, yeah, yeah. better. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for that. I'm trying to get Tammy to start playing video games now, too. We're going to try. going to try. Then what's going to be your, your first game? game? Probably Borderlands. Yeah. I almost bought that, to be honest. Are it's you? on Game Pass now. Oh, is it on As Game Pass? As of today. Oh, I don't at, know that. At the press conference, that's what they announced. Oh, really? Yeah. The, the Hanson Collection is on Game Pass. Oh, really? Oh. Huh. So well, you gotta hey. resubscribe to that. No, I, I'm currently subscribed oh, for like, like two weeks. Let's so. play it. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, Destroy All Humans coming back, 2020 release. They haven't said what month yet, but they just said 2020. So I have early 2020. early 2020, I think, is it? And uh, I'm really much looking forward to it, because I, I really love that game. Play me. It's playing on the Xbox One, it should be fun. Like, I immediately saw it and I ran up to my sister, I'm like, Karen, do you remember this? <laughs> and he goes, oh, they're remaking that? I'm like, aren't you that excited? <laughs> like, get uh, out of here, dude. Yeah, I'm excited for it, it should be fun. So, Bosto, let's let's talk a little bit about you, man. I don't know what's up. Um, <laughs> so, how'd you get started in the YouTube game, man? Uh, I started because originally I was in a... Uh, in a uh, class called Commercial Music, uh, where I was editing music for uh, students at Cerritos College. And I was in uh, business for music, and uh, one of the things they told us to do was to create a presence. So I just created a YouTube channel, a special Instagram and Facebook, but I didn't really touch it. And so one day I was just like, you know what? I should probably do something with it since I did have a YouTube channel that was just sitting there. So I just started off, originally I was going to talk about uh, movies, music, and create music on there, which thank God I never did because my music was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> and then originally I was like, okay, I'm going to vlog about events in my life because I have a terrible memory. That way I could have a document of those certain memories. And then I started getting my friends involved and I started doing like dumb little challenges and then I lost my job because I worked at Kmart down the street and I was like I'm gonna get a Disney annual pass <laughs> I'm not good with money exactly I'm like Disney annual pass that's hilarious I'm broke but hey Disneyland exactly I'm like I'll just enjoy this time off because YOLO am I right <laughs> exactly and then I just started filming theme park stuff and then I just, that's how I evolved to that. I just started filming a bunch of theme parks and then I, I wanted to expand on it so I got the Universal Knot stuff. And now here we are. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so uh, I, I, I've been a fan of your channel for a oh, while. I've known you for a while. Yeah. So I've, been, I've been watching your channel for a long time. Um, so how hot were those tacos really at that one spot? Ah, uh, they they were definitely <laughs> one of the hottest. Uh, in case you're interested, it's Genkiyaki. Yes. What is it? Genkiyaki. That's the okay. place that's you gotta called. Go. Okay. <laughs> you're gonna eat the tacos, right? Yeah. So watch you. Know, uh, you do have to up. sign a waiver because that's how hot they are. Right. <laughs> I think they're closed on Sundays because they make the sauce on Sunday. And so <laughs> oh it's God. horrible. It's really we horrible. Close down the place. It's. 350 Scoville units 
uh, which is pretty up there. <laughs> and it definitely burns your throat. You have a hard time talking. Once 20 minutes pass, you feel like you're in a safe zone. And then another 20 minutes pass, and you're like, oh no. <laughs> you're not safe. Oh no. It's <laughs> my favorite video on your channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really terrible. Um, you, yeah, you do cover a lot of theme park stuff. You cover pretty much everything, which I like about that. Um, what is your favorite theme park out of everything you cover? Favorite theme park? Uh, gotta be probably Disneyland, just because of the size and how much attractions it is. Attraction wise. Uh, Universal is one of the smaller parks. Then it'll be Knott's, and then probably DCA, and then Disneyland. Go. Um, do you have a favorite haunt or anything? Like, because I know we, we, we cover that's another thing we cover on the channel. The only haunt I've been to is Halloween Horror Nights. How long have you been going to Horror Nights for? I want to say 2015 was my first one. I think I covered it on my channel when I first went. Well, it was like a very unexpected thing that I wasn't planning on doing. Yeah. But we had the Universal, our family had a Universal Pass. And that was back in the day when I didn't really drive the freeway yet. So my parents were like, oh, there's this Halloween thing going on if you and your sister want to go to. And I was like, I'm not a huge horror movie fan, but my sister is, so I'm like, do you want to go? What the hell, yeah? And I'm like, well, oh, all right, buddy. why not? And then I kind of liked the event. I would say uh, 2016 so far for me was probably the best year of the event. Was that one with the Exorcist? Exorcist. That was the worst. That, that, that was made me year? skip 2017. Really? Yeah. 2017, they had the shiny, dude. How'd you forget the shiny? I've yeah. never seen it, so I don't have that personal love for it yet. The Come shiny. on, bro. Weren't you there? <laughs> and I, I love scary movies. Like, I, I know. Was I was like, I admit it. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I thought from like that point to like now, he probably would have went home and like, you know what? I kind of want to check that movie out. I have, but then it's like, I need to do this. Oh, I have work. <laughs> I got this. Yeah. yeah. Like, now that you're mentioning the shiny, again, I'm like, crap, that's on the list. <laughs> there it is. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I've been to at least we've been to Horror Nights, Scary Farm. I've not done Queen Mary yet. I don't want to do Queen Mary. How have you never been to Scary Farm? Um, that's what I don't know. That's that's honestly that's a great question. I was thinking about it last year, but it just skipped my radar. Huh? I don't know. I feel like Scary Farm's a lot closer. Isn't it? Yeah, cheaper? it's, it's, it's way a lot closer. closer. It's cheaper and it's not as scary. I mean, well, it's scary. Uh, okay, it depends on Sammy's. <laughs> Sammy's the guy in the theater like every time. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm kind of hoping. You kind of forget about Annabelle. Oh, I'm not going to forget about it. Because I haven't even seen any of the other ones, so I'm going to be super just like, I don't even know what's going on. I guess we got to watch binge watch all the Conjuring series that month. Yeah, I've only seen one of the. I've only seen. Person? Conjuring 2? That's all it does with what I've seen. Speaking of James Wan, that's another piece of news we can talk about. Swamp Thing canceled after one season. Wait, did it actually film its season? Yeah, it's the season's done. The first episode aired, and like the next week, they're like, we're gonna cancel. Oh, I thought it got canceled before. No, the season's done and filmed, so they're gonna release the the season. But then after that, it got canceled. And oh. uh, James Wan actually went on to Instagram and put like, I, for whatever reason, I don't know why it got canceled or anything, but we put our hearts and soul into this project, and I hope you guys cherish and enjoy the last uh, the remaining episodes of the season. Um, it gets really, it gets better as it goes on and stuff. And we are only two episodes in, and I've seen both of those episodes, and it is probably one of the best DC shows I've ever watched. Just the fact of his origin story was obviously the first episode. You got to see how he became Swamp Thing. And then in this one, you're seeing at him adapt to his powers and stuff like that, which I thought was really cool. And the way that the costume looks for Swamp Thing, it looks beautiful. Is that the guy in Suicide Squad? No, that's Cro Killer Croc. Killer Croc. Swamp Thing, he's... Literally like a creature that's like he's all green and stuff. Like he looks like he's got like moss and like algae over him and stuff like that. And uh, he's got red eyes, but he can control all of like the plants around the earth. Like if he wanted to, he can end up like so like poison ivy. Kind of, but his powers are more uh, like he uses his for good. Oh, okay. And he does. I don't think he does the same thing like she does because with her she can like poison. Oh wait, she's a, he's a hero. Yeah. I could have swore he was like an anti villain or something. Kind of. Um, also, not tell you right. He's part of the Justice League Dark, which is a group where it's a bunch of like supernatural beings and stuff like that. So that group consists of um, him, Constantine, Zantana, Dead Man. Batman's made a couple appearances a couple times and stuff like that. But, um, he, he's a really cool hero, and I, I was really, I'm really enjoying the show. And 
now there's talks that like I guess uh, HBO and CW are interested in reprising the show. And if I were to choose out of the two, I would want HBO because the way this show is going, it's it's going towards a darker tone as to like the killing and and who he is and stuff, rather than with the CW. It, it could still be that dark tone, but it wouldn't be the same quality. It'll definitely show. be like a lot like of censoring. CW is really like teeny bopper. Yeah, yeah. teeny bopper and stuff like that. But then, but then you get the crossover in the Arrow. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, you can. But I, mean, I don't think it will fit with. This. <laughs> the way I the way I see it, it's more of a there's there some motorcycle. <laughs> Why? So All right. Serious? So now we're gonna go back to Fosto. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what, what what what's your plans for the summer, Fosto? What, what can we expect on the challenge? This summer, this summer uh, obviously for, to start this week, we got Galaxy's Edge. Yes. Yeah, so start mean? start off this week. We're gonna do a basic reaction to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge because uh, we only do have a four hour limit I don't want to spend my entire time filming yeah. especially since I am a guest of a friend of mine so I don't want to take up his time either so it's just going to be raw emotions uh, reaction review as we go along through the land yeah because the one thing I actually like about your channel is and you've said it multiple times in videos that you don't like to rush videos you could be like the last one to cover something but you like to bring out the quality in the video, which I respect a lot, because there's a lot of YouTubers out there that will honestly rush to try to get the content out there, but a lot of people don't realize it's more about taking your time getting the good quality out of it. Than yeah, yeah, it. exactly. I'd rather take my time. Like recently, I had to reshoot an entire video at Knott's. I was too late, two weeks late than what I originally wanted to do when I originally uh, opened the new Calico ride. Yeah. But I was like, you know what? I didn't like it, so I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Um, and that's good that you're doing that because this video that you can bring out for Galaxy's Edge honestly could be a raw reactions to it. And then when it opens up to the public in a couple of weeks, I guess we can all go if we want. But, uh, exactly. We can uh, do some more coverage on that. Yeah, and that, that's my my goal is to go as early as possible and be there most of the day just grabbing footage because I imagine the lines will be huge. Oh, it's going to be insane when that thing opens up, I can imagine. However, the rest of the park will be empty. Yeah. <laughs> so that'll be fun. Check your Disney apps right now. Dude. Space Mountain is gonna be like a freaking ten minute wait, dog. No, yeah. Space Mountain was thirty five last I checked. That's still that's pretty, still good. pretty good. Yeah, that's like usually like one hundred and twenty minutes that it is and stuff. Yeah. Wait, since it's hyperspace mountain right now, it's still hyper oh, it's still hyperspace. Yeah, I don't know. Is it? Are they still the hyperspace? Yeah. Is it? Okay. Um, you excited yeah. for that blue milk or what? I that is one thing we're definitely gonna do the blue and green milk on tomorrow. Now, if I, if I can suggest anything from what I've heard so far, Cantina gets the worst as far as line goes. Doesn't you might want to jump in that first. I think they have return times now. I think they've got oh, okay. From what I saw in SoCal Exploring's video, he said that they got a return time to go into the Cantina. And I guess that eliminates the whole... I've been away. I was hearing like opening week, it was like a three hour wait just to get in. And so, they, and they so weren't moving people in. Like they were letting them take their time. There was a no time limit in there. It was like okay. people were staying in there and enjoying it. Like when people left and that's when they moving. That's yeah, and I heard you want to have your six-man team ready for uh, some smugglers, smugglers, smugglers run. Yeah. Just just two what do you want to do? Co-pilot? You want a pilot? Shooter? Engineer? What do you want? I honestly haven't looked much into it because I, I want to just experience it when I go first. Uh, but pilot just sounds awesome. Han Solo, dude. Exactly. Han Solo. Han Solo or Chewie? I wouldn't mind being Chewie, honestly. Exactly, I right? Chewy, bro. <laughs> but I also wouldn't mind being on the gunner either. Yeah. I'd love to shoot things because then I could be dropping lines left and right from Star Wars. <laughs> like Han Solo telling Luke, Great kick, don't get cocky, and just keep shooting. <laughs> That'd be great. But, get uh, kicked out. You said cock circuit. Huh? No. <laughs> I mean, I show up to Disneyland with a freaking vest that has a freaking skull middle finger flipping off people, and they don't oh. tell me everything. They never tell me anything. No, no, oh, wow. I get a lot of dirty looks, like, really? Like, <laughs> at this point, I don't even care. No, they haven't told me anything, so. Um, yeah, that, that should be that should be good. I'm really looking forward to seeing your content on that. Um, what about the rest of the summer? What, what, what's the plans? Uh, recently, guys, exclusive. Yes, exclusive. I don't talk about this stuff during my channel, except yesterday because I had like big announcements. <laughs> uh, I'm going to was it Knott's Berry Farm to cover Ghost Town Alive. Okay. Uh, when I first went on Friday, I had no idea. I was completely lost on what it was exactly. Yeah. But 
after spending like three hours there, I kind of understand and I could at least get three videos out of that. Okay. Cool. experience alone. That's good. And then they released a new Summer Nights thing called Summer Nights, which is basically a, like a barbecue block party type That's of thing. That's the fourth video right there. Exactly. And then at Universal, I'll be covering the Jurassic World ride, of course. Oh, yeah. Which is the only thing I think Universal is doing. That, this and then, I mean, if you want to, HHN construction updates. But that's completely up to you. Yeah, I kind of suck at construction updates. I know we're supposed to be heading out to Universal at, what is it, end of the month? End of the month in June. End of the month in June. Like, maybe early July. Maybe, like, the first week <laughs> of July. But uh, we're heading out at the end of the month, and we'll be covering construction updates. If Jurassic World's not the one, the other, the other. Jurassic yeah. World the ride is open, we'll probably cover that too, because that's technically horror. Yeah, I mean. Dinosaurs killing water people. Water the wolves. Oh, no. <laughs> water the wolves. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll probably cover that this week, or uh, this week, this month. Um, so that'll be fun. So we'll probably hit you up. Oh, yeah, for sure. For a video collab. Um, what about uh, any haunts? You plan on going to any of the haunts this year? Haunts, if I do renew, which most likely will be, yes, uh, the Universal Pass, since I do get one free ticket. Oh, you got the, the what you call the, the Platinum. Platinum, there you go. That's one more right? Yeah. Yeah, the, the song, so I had that one last time because I, um, I did Front of the Line. I bought, because every year I buy my Front of the Line Pass. Oh, for that, That's a must. For, for like, oh, yeah, for opening week so I can film all my videos and do like all the maze walkthroughs and not worry about it. And then. So how do you get that? Because I know you're not allowed to film. They honestly, like, I just start recording the minute I walk in the maze. They don't say nothing. Oh. I think they don't want, I don't think they mind recording. I just don't think they want your lights flashing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, because, like, uh, yeah, that's that's a lot of the issue. Like, if, you, if they're pointing at light, it kind of ruins the effect of the whole haunt. I think it's mostly people with their phones because they, like, they want to record themselves for, like, Instagram or something. Yeah. They always have their lights on. And so they don't care more, more they don't really care about the filming. They care more about if you use the light, the effect. yeah, the effect. Because the only time they let light on in the in the maze is when they're doing like a press thing, mm -hmm. or like if press people are there. Um, TLAB was a perfect example last year. They did press and they were filming their reactions going through the maze, and they had the light on, but they only because they were filming their reactions and then they were showing us in the maze. That's the only time I've seen light on. Other than that, you got to have a really good low light camera for that. Yeah. So it's one of those things where it's like. They don't care, just as long as you don't have a water. And another thing they're really big on too is the fact that the microphones as well. Yeah, they don't. They, I'm. They're like, no, put that away. I'm like, oh. Okay. Yeah, Universal's really anal about that, but it is what it is. Because last year we did coverage for uh, TLAV night the last, like the last weekend, and we were filming and we had that out, and they told us we had to put it away. So, and then we also did coverage when they closed down Jurassic Park, uh -huh. and they were getting mad at us for having the microphone out as well because they thought we were actually press or anything and they were asking for our press passes and stuff so it was whatever's but at the end of the day I mean it is fun to just go yeah like that, so uh, anything else can I try to try to have knots or anything or uh knots I uh, I don't know maybe if you go I'll, I'll definitely try to go with you yeah. guys I have my guys and I get discounts on oh that's nice so, so, probably try to hit that one up you go on one that's the plan. That's the plan. <laughs> Better start saving some money now, dog. I don't know. When the season hits, it's done. I know. Uh, hire me, anyone. <laughs> I'll be a scare actor. Maybe, you know, some <laughs> media coverage, Dark Harbor, Knots. would be nice. I already got denied from HHN. Oh, yeah. well, you did tell me to. I would have gotten you the greatest application in this. No, it wasn't that. It's, you have to have at least 20,000 subscribers or more to at least get media coverage. Wait, how did the all of you do that? Exactly. I think they, but I think because Thomas says he actually knows somebody. Oh, so it's like, he got the plug. I wouldn't say that. They like them. Universal likes them, <laughs> which I respect. I feel like Thomas is really like cookie cutter. Thomas, I, I can tell you this. Thomas, he's a very good talker. Mm -hmm. Like if you should, if you see what he does for like school and stuff, then you know why he's a good talker. Like a bunch of uh, he's a, public he's, speaking. Yeah, right? he does public speaking. He's a very oh. political person. Um, and that's just something you don't see in front of the camera. You have to like behind the scenes talk to him and stuff about it, which I thought was kind of interesting because I would have never guessed. It wasn't until I started like actually talking to them that I started seeing the other side of Tom. So I'm like, oh wow, which is not a bad side. It's just like he's more of a professional, which 
kind of needed in this business. You know? Yeah, big time. It's, it, it comes in, it really helps. So, um, Dark Harbor, you go to, actually, you go to Midsummer Scream? <laughs> oh, that's still a maybe because I might do something this that weekend. So, if anything, I'll go that better day. All right. Oh, so Midsummer Scream should be good. We got a couple of podcasts lined up for that one. Yeah. Podcast for that yeah, I saw you got like That's two guests game. Saturday, one on two Sunday. Two guests Saturday. So we got two guests in the morning on Saturday when it opens, and then we got another guest right after the HHN panel to talk about the HHN panel, and then we have a guest the next day to talk about the not scary fun panel. So that should be fun. Looking for that. That's gonna be a very busy weekend. It is. It is. <laughs> and then on top of Saturday, we're gonna go to the Mumford and Sons concert. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he got his tickets to go see Mumford and Sons. So it's like from Saturday, we're going straight to the concert and then back home. And then Sunday, we gotta get up and do it again. Jesus. <laughs> so it's gonna be fun. Where's the concert? And to, and to be and it's to, uh, to thank California State. Thank California. Yeah. And to add even more stress, Sammy hasn't bought his freaking Midsummer Screen ticket yet. So it's like I'll probably buy it next week. Okay. <laughs> I think. I, 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 I hope. I hope. Even if you just get to admit like a weekend, you don't even have to get gold back. I gotta go back because I'm gonna do a lot of filming and stuff. Yeah, no, I'm gonna need the. I'm probably need the regular one. It's called Broco. They got the regular one. Yeah. No, the only reason I got gold back is so I can get in early and set up everything. Yeah. So if you guys are gonna be at Midsummer Scream, me and Sammy will be there. Hopefully, Foster will be there. Tammy will be there. I know that. Oh, I'll, I'll hop into podcast real quick. Just like, hey, what's up? I'm here. <laughs> uh, and we have uh, three podcasts we're gonna be shooting at. That weekend. I don't know when they're gonna come out. I, my, I, my goal is to aim to do back to back to back. They come out all three that week. But that'd be kind of insane. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If I wanted, I could spread them out to do week by week. But since it is Midsummer Week, I would love to kind of get them out that same week. So yeah, that'd be fun to edit. I'm gonna kill myself editing. Hey. Foster knows the yeah. He knows the life. I don't know any of those struggles. <laughs> I just show up. Just show up. <laughs> just show up. Just playing um, the check. <laughs> Yeah, the check. We got a slice of pizza. Two slices of pizza today. Got some pizza. Yeah, I get rice here and there. Places. Take them to Disneyland. Yeah. So, you know. Those are all the checks. That's, that's all the check he needs. Yeah. Um, but summer of guests is looking pretty good. I mean, we kicked it off today with Fosto, and uh, we got to little, know a little bit more about Fosto, how what he does and stuff like that. Um, what is what do you think the hardest part about being a YouTuber? Time. <laughs> time Definitely the time. Yeah. Because I work from Monday through Thursday from 5 in the morning to 3.30 p.m. Okay. Which allows me to have a, like... So you're doing like 12 hours. So you're working 4 12s then? I'm working... Four ten. Ten. Yeah, 4 10s. 4 10s. So I have Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Which normally is Friday, I like to go to scene parks and film. Whatever I need to film. Saturday, uh, mostly edit and then go out at night with my girl, and then Sunday, finish editing, and rest. To get back on the grind To get back on the ground on Monday. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a hard grind. <laughs> uh, and I, I, yeah, like I said, you, you put up, you're a freaking warrior, you keep putting up content. One thing you did put up this week that I, I, I was actually gonna ask you a question about, and I'm glad I thought about it right now. Where do you get, where'd you get that model box? The Marvel box on Amazon. They're Amazon exclusive. Amazon, so what do you, what do you look up? Uh, Marvel Collector Corps. Do they, so do they, are they a monthly subscription? or how Bi-monthly. So monthly? every other month you'll get a Now box. the box that you got recently, the reason why is because he got a freaking Captain America Hobie oh, Mule there. Oh, yeah, no, I saw it, yeah. I watched his videos. <laughs> and it's only through that Amazon box. So, and I'm a big it. Funko collector, and so my, my whole thing was like, was it only certain boxes that got that? Did you have to no. be lucky or every no, box? No, every box. Every and kid, you still order that no. And that eBay is selling it for like a hundred dollars. Is that ridiculous? Is that's yeah. an exclusive, isn't it? It's an exclusive. Yeah. So if you ordered that box, you guaranteed everything in that box, but once they're sold out, they're sold out. Yeah. Damn. Damn. No meal so, for you, bro. Yeah. Jonathan, so if you order it sense. now, you'll be getting it for July, which will be the Spider-Man Far From Home. Get it out. Uh, perfect sense. I'll probably have this one. Maybe. Oh, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be overpriced. Yeah, oh, yeah. Will. <laughs> probably will. Probably will. My dumb ass will probably buy it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it is, right? You've seen me all out. I'll be Can't go to Target. <laughs> Can't go to Target because I have to go to the Funko section. My movie. <laughs> That's why with Funko, I just um, just MCU. I base it just on oh, the MCU. Oh, dude, no. I'm, I'm everything. I, I do horror, I television, um, 
I have an MC shelf, I have a DC shelf. Everything. If it's something that I like, I'll get. I have a Johnny Cash one. Put it on my stuff. Um, but yeah, Fosto, Fosto Pebbles. Go subscribe to his channel now. He puts up amazing content from theme parks to unboxings. Nice and stuff. Everything Fun in between. Stuff. Everything yeah. in between, yeah. Right, one more question though. Your favorite horror movie? Favorite horror movie? The, the one that comes to mind is probably It. That came out like a year or two ago. Oh, yeah, chapter 2017. Eight. 2017. Then 2018 or 2019, I mean. It chapter two. Two. Chapter two. Tony, your favorite horror movie. Oh, um. Oh, I wasn't expecting to be oh, on the spot. Oh, <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I seriously can't think. I can't be put on the spot like top this. Three, top three. Top three. Is that top a, three? Is that a That's movie? even harder. <laughs> <laughs> one. Like First one that comes to your mind. Choose one. I really like Halloween. Which one? H2O? The, no, of course, H2O, yeah. No. No. Um, I can't remember. I, I guess just the first one. The first yeah, original? The OG Halloween, that's good. I was watching actually like Cursed, though. I, 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 I don't know if you guys ever saw that. Cursed? With the werewolves? Yeah, yeah. it had Jesse Halloween. Eisenberg in it. Ooh. Yeah, that's no, a good movie. Wait, I just got a quick story with Halloween here. So, last week, or was it last week or a week before? I forget when. My grandma was in town, and I made her watch that movie with me. It was funny. The new one or the old one? The new one. What you think? She thought it was like, stupid. She's like, what are you watching this crap for? Is that Jason Voorhees? <laughs> nah. She's like, what are you watching this crap I also made her watch Anchorman with me. Nice. But she's just watching Halloween. She's totally like, Dawn of the Dead. I'm so sorry. Dawn of the Dead? Yeah. Dawn yeah. of the Dead. Yeah. Shaun of the Dead? Shaun of the Dead. Zombieland. Yeah! Damn! Okay. Yeah. Zombieland. I just keep thinking GG. <laughs> All right, Foster. Well, we, we really do appreciate you being on for Summer of Guests, for kicking off Summer of Guests. Yeah. So uh, you're welcome back anytime on the podcast. Just of course, we live up. so close to each other. Well, I know. Yeah. We live a lot closer than we thought. <laughs> there was there like a five-minute drive. So. There you go. Um, but yeah, tune in to Foster every week on his channel. He puts up new uh, content from theme parks to, like I said, unboxings. Whatever he feels like doing, he'll put it up on his channel. Pretty much. And he's pretty entertaining. <laughs> I, I, I watch him every week. Uh, Thank you for coming by. Thank you for spending your Sunday on us. Uh, and we will see you guys next week for the Miles Hard Podcast. Don't know what we're going to talk about, but uh, we'll talk about something. Yeah, we'll be here. <laughs>